Hey guys, Mad Scientist here, and rather than getting Divergent, the Serum Science Part 3 out of the way, today's video is about M. Night Shyamalan's movie, Split. In the movie, we follow the story of Kevin Wendell Crumb, a guy that has 23 different personalities. The Beast is the new 24th identity, first unleashed in the train yard, and is frequently mentioned by Patricia, Dennis, and Hedwig, also known as the Horde. The main characteristics of the Beast is that he is the biggest of the personalities and has f skin as thick as a rhinoceros. He's also very muscular and can climb walls of sheer angles. His one objective, to rid the world of the impure, which is why the Beast kills Marsha and Claire but doesn't kill Casey. Hence the question of the day, why is Casey Cook spared by the Beast and more importantly the story of her scars. Well, you look nervous. Is it the scars? You wanna know how I got them? One major element of Casey's backstory is going hunting with her dad and Uncle John. Her backstory tells us that her dad died of a heart attack. Uncle John probably raped her in the woods pretending to be animals with Casey. Into that by the following scene of Casey training a shotgun on her uncle with intent to kill. Another hint to Casey's sexual harassment is when Uncle John asks Casey if she's going to listen to him and knows she won't argue back. Casey's way of avoiding her uncle is to get in trouble at school to get the tension by yelling at teachers. So, what is her uncle doing to Casey? We only see Casey's scars on her shoulders and stomach, which is most likely to be on her chest as well. We don't find out if there's any scars on her back. I don't want to say it, but probably raped has a high likelihood of being wrong. It's probably even worse than we think. Those scars, they're from fingernails and probably other things as well. I don't need to explain no more, but Casey is a rape victim to her own uncle and commits self-harm. There are two ways I can see it being interpreted. One, Casey was raped once by John and by saying, now you won't be giving me any trouble, will you? I know you won't, sweetie. He's indicating that he wants her to stay quiet about it. Number two, John does it on the regular, and Casey feels like she is unable to do anything about it and takes her frustration and anger on, out on her teachers, which is why she gets detention. In both situations, her emotional distress and being forced to be silent by her uncle could possibly lead to self-harm. Looking at the symptoms presented from the movie, the memories getting the tension and her strange ability to cry one tear at a time, I have developed a diagnosis of Casey's mental state. A lot of her symptoms point to her having post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD. Some symptoms do also indicate towards depression, but it's less likely for her to have depression or PTSD. Casey remembers her own rape and her dad's death from when she was only five, even threatening her uncle with a shotgun. She suffers from the mental distress of her rape, gets detention at school, and yells at teachers. Living with those scars from both fingernails and self-harm methods, she's very highly likely to have PTSD. This is the best prognosis I can hand down about Casey Cook's condition based on her scars, reactions, emotions, and memories, even though it's probably not the answer I'm looking for. Next science video, I'll be finishing the Divergent series with the final part about the death and paralytic serums. Also, either Doki Doki Literature Club or Oxenfree will be coming soon as my first proper gameplay series. Also, also, Check out my Twitter so that you'll know when my next video comes out. Also, times free, 
I went to Dreamworld recently and bought some bean boozled jelly beans. And I need an idea for a video involving them. Finally, don't forget to shoot the subscribe and notification buttons so you know when a new video comes out. There's a lot to chat down in the comments. Mad Scientist, out.